Hello everyone, it's Argo. Thank you very much for checking out this video. This is going to be a new thing for me. I'm going to try and do some Let's Plays. Um, our first game that we are going to try out is Tell Me Why. It is a very story-driven game. Um, very emotional, I hear. This is going to be the first time I'm playing through it. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. If you do, please let me know. If you want to recommend a game that we play after this, um, please let me know and we can uh, take that in consideration and start another Let's Play right after this one. So without further ado, this is the very first start. This is episode number one. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for checking it out and have a great day. Xbox Game Studios. Don't want to skip any intro because honestly, I don't know what to expect. I don't really know too much about the game. Okay, March 1st, 2005. Delos Crossing, Alaska. Is that blood? Can't tell if that's blood or mud. Obviously, it sounds like it's raining pretty hard. I need to ask you a few questions, okay? Can you tell me what happened tonight? I... I went to show her my haircut. She had a gun. She... Take your time. She freaked out. I... I... It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so... So I stabbed her. Whoa. I killed my mother. Well, that's a way to start. Tell me what... Chapter 1, Homecoming. Alright, that is a very interesting intro to the game. So... Not sure. They didn't say the name of the, the, the character killed their mom but they said their mom tried to kill them okay we're on November 2nd 2015 the other one was March 2005 so a little over 10 years firewood I kind of missed what the name of the building was They're air twins because a little bit of the mechanic is that they can talk to each other in the voice in their mind. So, she looks like she was practicing how to say hello or to greet. Welcome back. So I'm assuming he's the one. He might have been the the child at the beginning that confessed to killing their mom. First, 
Allison. I'm find the keys to the old house. Then I'm gonna drive to Fireweed and I'm not going to freak out. Everything's fine. So we gotta find the oh, keys. I, I stashed them down. Well, that was good luck. It's always in the box under the bed. Always in the box. But what? What is that? <laughs> so that's where you've been hiding. This feels like another lifetime. This feels like okay. another lifetime. Could be wrong, but I guess they are they've been separated and or they haven't talked in a while. Oh. Ooh, I can't wait to force Tyler to watch this with me. He's totally gonna hate it. So Tyler and Ad got to Allison. Make solid plans to see the Geminids. I wonder if Tyler'd wanna go. Hey, you wanna freeze your ass off watching burning rocks fall through the sky? Yeah, I might need to work on my sales pitch. All right. What was on the to-do list? Gift. I can't really tell what that says. Obviously, house keys. Right. We just got. I think I'm ready to go now. Ready to go. I need to bring this with me to Juno. Probably not going to see any stars at this time of day. I could look at this artwork all day. I'm trying to get a sense of Allison. But she weirdly kind of looks like me in the morning. <sighs> I've been practiced since high school. I'm probably super rusty. Alright, let's go. Try to get a sense of Allison at least. This must be Tyler. Oh yeah, She's gonna there you be go. So awkward. Let's read it, dear Tyler. I know what you're thinking. A letter? Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, just wanted to give my twin a shout before reuniting after ten years. Okay, is more than more like letter territory. Whatever. You'll thank me when we're ninety and machines have taken over. And you still have something to read by candlelight, see? Always thinking ahead. Anyways, I can't believe you'll be out for real in a few weeks. What? Okay, so Tyler is the um, the uh, little boy that we saw at the beginning that um, um, confessed to killing his mother. He did say he should try to kill him, though. Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please try not to notice, okay? How's your... How's your last month going? Are you sad about leaving your mantis? Mentors. I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up. And you can save the snark about when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, the Vechis? V Vechis? I butchered that name, I'm sorry. Let me take the day off so we can go straight to the old house and get ready for the sell and everything can't wait to never think about that place again i really can't wait to see you i don't know if i made that clear love you allison all right allison seems like i can't believe i'm about to leave this room for the last time okay i'm pretty much done here but hey little guy okay same be reunited with your sister soon same as allison had allison left hers in the box though okay oh, cool I'm totally ready to go now. Ready to go. Let me read. What is this letter? It's, 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 since this is a very story driven game, you kind of really want to learn the most I can about each character um, so we can see what choice, especially if there's any choices we have to make. I want to see, try to put myself in their situation to see what I would, what I would do if I was them. Hey, Aaron. You know I'm bad. Oh, let me read. Hey, Aaron. You know I'm bad at this, but I wanted to say, you've been the best co counselor, an out risk yet reliable, redeemable youth could want. Thanks for putting 
up with me and helping me in more ways than you know. I'll try to make it out of fireweed. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. Tyler. Okay. So Tyler is an at a at risk. I'm assuming like a teen at risk um, program. Obviously, for what happened. Oh, yeah. And please give me water and sun. Thanks. The game looks great. Welcome back, Bear. I wonder, have they... Obviously, it's clear from her letter that they haven't seen each other. But I wonder if they've talked... Or is this like a... Hi, Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years, and it's hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. God, it's good That's... to see you. <sighs> Likewise. You have anything else you need to get? Nope. This is it. My last ten years in a bag. Then we should get going. We just have time to make the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly talented. I got a couple of local coffee shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan, shaping the leaders of tomorrow. Yep. I think, I mean, screwed. I could be <laughs> thinking way into this, but so it looked like it was a phoenix on the back. About this place? It's kind of like a rebirth. Um, see, it's hard to design because I don't even know the people, but just from his letters, he seemed like he really liked the people there. So let's go with people. Honestly, people. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor, Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Safe enough to be me. That's so great. I'm really happy for you. We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Looked. Let's go. Bye bye, Fireweed. We will see where this goes. Um. Here, I mean, obviously we have to go back to the house where I guess that a very unfortunate, traumatizing situation happened. So we'll see how that goes and where that takes us. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up. And there was the bear. Fat and happy on a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Oh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor buddy. I feel like a uh, third wheel in the back seat. Yeah, just forgetting the munchies. Yeah, well, you know what they say. Safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. You hear they've been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps. Even Surely sweet, that is. Hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural parks. What? Why are you smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. I can't believe you got a bachelor's already. 
while I boast a half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. You'll figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a whiteout and my fog lights are dead. I love the Allison? reflection. Well, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me, on our way to Delos. You don't have to apologize. It's a lot. I'm guessing things haven't changed much. You mean in Delos? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Hold LT to apply small town life? That bad. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Who's good, Michael? Good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Is that smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point, got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. <laughs> Sounds fun. Uh, it was. Wish I could be there. Is that awkwardness? Like, so you can tell they haven't really been around each other. There, huh? To Stonehouse? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. <laughs> At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? I'm thinking about it. Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Shoot. I was told, um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess, and became a mentor three years ago. You still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just... Being an overly invested sister. Curious you, how you, you spent your time. You didn't visit? You didn't visit her? It's going to be very interesting to figure out the relationship dynamic. Allison. And what happened? Yeah? Spit it out. Okay, you need to promise not to freak out. What is it? A gift from Eddie. Who's Eddie? I know he's not your favorite person, but I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty, don't. And your adopted father, the man who didn't let you visit me for seven years. The Fireweed Administration backed him up, Tyler. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah, well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering. And you're the two most important people in my life. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift giving means in Clinket culture and what it means to refuse one. Fine, I can't accept this, I don't care. Fine. 
I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Just so we're clear, this was for you, not Chief Brown. I wonder you if know, that you symbol means call him Eddie, or even the choice that will uncle? make a difference. <laughs> Hard pass. I'm not really quite sure. Did you hear that? Is it a whale? I think it I think that's what I heard. Whoa. Oh. That would be so cool. There's no place like home. Yeah. That would be really cool to witness. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. Completely. Sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. All right. It's so weird being back on this boat. But here's my sport. Check my six pack. Okay. Crime control. Headshot. Hey, man, it's your truck. You do you. Same to you. Live and let live. Just a sticker. Enjoying the ride? I'm more of a dry land, firm crowned kind of guy. I hear you, but this sure beats a city any day. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing. Same here. You from around here? Um, just visiting. Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? My sister, and she's moving soon. This a goodbye trip then? <laughs> Something, Something like that. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin, no relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um, Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking for related, so I try to head it off in the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Um, I don't want to say the last name because you might know the story. Just call me Tyler. All right. Well, I guess he would know Good Tyler. You, Tyler. Likewise, sir. I'll see you around town. All right. Well, she's off the phone, so. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. There's nothing like the open air. Hey, you send your application to Denali yet? Uh, not yet. I need way more experience. You're not applying to run the entire national park. They've got to have something entry level, right? Yeah, but I've done no internships, no volunteer work. They probably get hundreds of applicants, and I've got nothing to show. Come on, you don't know that. Doesn't hurt to try. Hey, didn't we used to swim off that dock? Wait, no, that was on the lake. Oh, uh, they pulled that one out. What? No. Man, so many good memories. Of pushing me into the lake? <laughs> the neighbor kid was the one who pushed you in all the time. Yeah. What's he up to? Bobby? I, uh, kind of dated him. What? <laughs> no way. Yeah. I always seem to attract the assholes. Another reason why I'm not dating right now. Cannery's still going strong, huh? Not sure what people would do around here if it weren't. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me, but seeing it for real is wild. Yeah. It was terrible. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Delos Crossing. Two years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all? The company went under after, and surprise, no one else is eager to take it on. Someone died, right? Yeah. It was a crazy day. Jeez. Fire. Shall we? Let's go. 
Okay. I haven't learned too much about it. I wonder... I'm assuming when we get to the house, we'll learn more of what happened. The only thing I know about the game from the trailer is... It seems like they were able to communicate with each other and then have flashbacks. So I'm assuming right when we get to the house, we're going to have flashbacks of the events of what happened. But we will find out and see. I wonder if she's been back to the house since I can't maybe I missed it where she said where she was living if she was living in the same town or I'm assuming not but then the chief is her new adopted dad and he would obviously be close by at least Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? For sure. If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. Wonder... The only way to get this done is to do it. Seems such like a negative vibe. After was you. She, obviously he says you try to kill her, but I mean, was she abusive? Locked. Well, it's a good we got thing the key. I remembered this. We got the key early. You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock? Rip! <laughs> I don't know. We're Locked screwed. out. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah. We had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. I really hope, like, there's not a window just open. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly in <sighs> The crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Is someone still... Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't Still living here? Compost? Why is there stuff and still in the compost if it's been 10 we years? Lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Or am I not thinking that right? 
Open Sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Oh wow, that is an amazing view. Oh wow. One of these windows open? It's no good. I can't open this one either. It's okay. We'll find another way in. So, any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah, we stashed all our goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? There was. I hope I can still fit. I'm a little taller than I was at 11. Here's a shovel. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. You gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. So they said get under the house. Oh. You need a hand with that? Remove the planks? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. Uh, uh. Crowbar? It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Screwdriver, okay. Um, in the house down there? Oh, here's a shed. Maybe tools will be in there? I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh. Yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Hey, it's locked, all right. There's a window. Okay. Oh, there's a screwdriver. Should be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait. I, um... I'm feeling something strange. Art... Right trigger to hold and focus on your bond. Remember? And don't leave this room. Oh, these are the, the memories. Clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Hurry! Follow Let's the go memory. See the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Silent frog. Well, the middle one is covering so, their mouth. Which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? Covering their mouth. Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. 
Come on. Oh. <laughs> First okay, time? Okay, yeah. Sorry. Nice job. Keep it a secret, buddy. Relatively easy puzzle. <laughs> I don't even think that was a puzzle, but. At least get the screwdriver. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? What is this? Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friends. I hope someone hasn't been here. What, how, go ahead and open this up. Try to get in the house and see what's going on. You sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Everything okay down there? That would be a very creepy thing to go just under the house that's been abandoned Tyler? for 10 years. Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine, but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Hopefully. All right. Ouch! Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty, I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. It's like you can talk I, to yeah, each other. Straight, straight ahead. Close to each other. Need to go left, I think. Left? Alright. Then left again after the goblins. Are the goblin left? Okay. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. Alright, that's dead end. Don't be a left though, so nope. it was on the right. Okay. My bad. Wait. That was our treasure? It's just truck pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. <laughs> How are there still bananas there? I have bananas for two weeks in their bed. For a week in their bed. I almost convinced myself our voice was just another childhood fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. Oh, open. I don't want to know what's in this house. I got a bad feeling. <laughs> Obviously, someone's been living there. I think, anyways. He said the bird seeds were fresh.
Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Good to hear your voice again. I don't just know if I'm over analyzing it or should I just take it what it is? Is there something creepy? Like, why would he. I don't know if he's being sarcastic or if. Well, we're here. There's more to this than what here meets we the are. eye. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Okay. Oh, I came from there. Wow. It doesn't seem real. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. Good we were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is then. Wow, I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us, like we were lab rats. Handmade soap, still here after 10 years, impressive. Testing? You could say that about the entire house. Stuff on the kids. Mm. Not a total disaster, Ronan. I hope this doesn't end up being like a house of horror kind of thing. <laughs> doesn't seem like it, but. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Now, when we broke them, I love fixing things. I wish she fixed herself. But not the part where it got broken, especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. So not a very good childhood, obviously. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way, wait for me. Now this, this feels like home. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh. This one wasn't mine. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. We never appreciated this view as kids. There's a box. Look what I found. What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <gasps> Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? Press open to open All the book. stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. 
with the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. A little conflicting of their memories of what they thought of her though. I don't know. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Hmm. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Go find it. You think her room is still locked? So oh, her, their, their mom was upset that he I was. Know. But we'll have to eventually transitioning. Get back. Oh. The Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. Because it was dangerous to mention his name. Where is their mom's room? Hold up. <clears throat> what? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force Mom it. Mom locked their it room? It might be kind of fun to finally solve it. Right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, she if we break it, we're just going to have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? No, this is her mom's room, so she locked yep. herself in her room. Hand it over. Why would she lock herself in her room? What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. Oh boy. First puzzle. First ghost memories. Now storybook puzzles. Oh no. We'll see how this goes. Weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. So it looks like you have to figure out three different things. What are the symbols? A duck? Okay, you have to turn it. Symbols. What is that? 
Is that a bear, a frog, a moose? I don't know what the last thing is. I can't tell. Book of Goblet. Okay. The bear and the princess? Index. Okay, so they said the princess's party. Page 15. Princess party. Okay. Oh, those are the symbols, right? Are those the symbols? Okay, so those are the animals that are on the stage, on, on the the door. I don't know what these three symbols are. It's a fire, a sword, and it looks like money. Okay. Oh, read it, Caesar. Once upon a time in, <clears throat> excuse me, the princess party, once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy because it was the one year anniversary of when she had to run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at her door. They were headed by the pelican. Okay, so it was a pelican. Pious and attentive and organized by the moose, stork and farsighted. The bear was there with his claws so sharp as well as the big frog pratting away. Even the haunty muskrat, who mostly came out at night, had come. The bear invited her to ride on his back, promising no wood with Harry her path. And then the animals led her to a fairy glen where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood that the pelican had served from her never emptying beak. The air was filled with the winking fairy lights the moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. Frog mixed her f frizzing drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. The princess had a very good time at the party. Such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Noticing this, the fairies devised a bit of mischief. When the princess went up, went to open her gift, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies, we have hidden them from you. But we like games. Guess who, ha who has given you the, each of these presents and you'll get your friends back. The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch. Okay, so that was on the door, which when lit revealed the truth. Hmm, the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark and that I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the second box. Inside there was a magical sword, which was on the door, which would leap right out of the barrier's hand to defend them. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I am protected if I'm ever under threat. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the third box. Inside there was a bag of coins, like the door, there, that always provided money if she was in something, if there was something the barrier truly needed. Hmm. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I am hungry and clothes when I'm cold. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? The princess thought about her friends and then smiles. Certainly fairies. She said, I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all of my friends have, have given me, given to me and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers and vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful lights. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for the presents, the party, and all that they had done to help since she moved into the forest. And that, that is how the princess celebrated the first anniversary in the woods. Okay. So the first one was... Someone... Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark and that I always see right from wrong. All right, let me go back to the first page. Um, okay, there was headed by the pelican, pious and attentive, and organized by the moose, dork, and farsighted. Okay, the pelican was attentive. The moose was farsighted. It's dork. The bear, when his claws are so sharp, 
and the big frog prattling away. Even the muskrat, who mostly came out of that, had come. And then, let's see. The buffet, there was a buffet of seafood by the pelican that served her never emptying beak. And the air was filled with it. Fairy lights the moose. Lights of the moose ranged in the clouds filled the sky. And a frog mixed up drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing. Okay, so the light, I'm assuming, is the moose. Because they wanted the far sighted and thing. The second one was the sword. The bear? And the third one was the bag of coin. Who would get the bag of coin? The frog? Or the pelican? Because the pelican was tentative. Maybe the pelican. Oh! What's that? Oh my god! <laughs> Wow, okay. I just played that through my head. I don't know if any of that even made sense, and I'm and sorry. Boom. I was We're trying in. to think of exactly. I, panic, I was panicking a little bit because I was like, I cannot not figure out a puzzle when I'm being filmed. And I was just, that was how my brain was working it. And if that did not make sense, I'm sorry. How are the lights still on after 10 years? This makes me think that there's been someone that's been living here. Like, how's that? They said that has, this building has no electricity. After so many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? might have been my luck. That might have been my luck. Okay. The light went off. Where do you think we should start looking? I got a really Bottom. creepy vibe. I don't Where know in this why. I don't know why. Someone else's personal thoughts. Oh, I got this going. What is this? I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. To tell me everything. But they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and and they're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. She sounds really stressed out. I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here. This really sucks. Oh, she some, was really coming apart those last few months. Some pills, wasn't she? Oh, uh, this explains a lot. They're mostly full. She was too stubborn to take medication. Okay, so she had medication, but she refused to take it. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? So she... <sighs> so she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. My entire body just shivered. <sighs> I had a really creepy vibe. <laughs> she was on medication that she refused to take. It's here. I knew it. Everything seems... I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Of course she read it. If it was in a room locked in a drawer, who wouldn't read it? Especially if it was your kids. I mean, I would. I mean, I, I, that sounds terrible to say, but... Raising your transgender child. Vir Virtual Seekers Youth Camp. What? I didn't see what was under that. Raising your tra transgender child. So she, obviously she knew he was transitioning. It seems like oh, you would read a book like that if you if you want to help. Tyler. Right? What? 
Look. An alliance for a traditional family? It seems like that kind of contradicts each other. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Uh oh. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was oh, mad no. and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. Oh. You can't do this to me. Please don't tell me it was a misunderstanding. I finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I hope she. Did. I hope Allison doesn't have anything to do with it. I think her. I need some air. like I already know how this game is going to be now we're going to get like little pieces at a time to put it together and then I feel like whatever I the road that I'm thinking is going to be like a twist or it's not actually going to come true so I don't, I don't it's kind of hard because I, I don't know if I want to share my thoughts of what I'm thinking but I, I like it just seems weird Allison didn't come visit Tyler for years scissors her adopted father, which is the father, that, the guy that arrested him, would allow her to. They didn't really see each other for 10 years. They not really communicating. The mom's Are you really, really sure. Oh, it's a flashback. I am. Do it. The mom seemed like she cared in one, but then Tyler thinks okay. she, he would, she would have hurt him. The way they were talking, it seems like she's abusive. She took medication. She had medication that she refused to take. But I don't know what kind of medication it was. Oh, this is when he cut his hair. Whoa. Is it all gone? That is a yeah. terrible haircut. <laughs> you need some clippers and shave it. It, it looks amazing. You buzz it. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight, though. It was almost like a party. <sighs> thank you, Allison. Mood you don't swings? Have to thank me. You're my sister. I don't want to speculate feel more like, of what she would have. Like your brother. What she would have. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sweet. That's really sweet. Mom? She looks kind of creepy. Or he looks kind of creepy right Mom? there. Oh, no. Are they about to show us what happened? Oh, no. I got a really, I, got, I just started getting like goosebumps. I'm like, oh, it's that shed. Creepy. No, 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 no. Why is she crying? This is wrong. This 
this is all wrong. Wait! Stop! Okay, from I could be wrong from what I got from there. She was definitely talking to herself, mumbling. She didn't really make sense. It seemed like she was confused of what she was what she was doing. And at the end it seemed like she wasn't trying to hurt him. I don't hmm. I don't know if that's the same night. Glad we found your diary. But they just said earlier that she got mad because he cut his hair. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? It's really interesting knowing the story at the end, me? and then you're now you're piecing you're piecing Maybe. the beginning Which, and middle. She wasn't trying. She never to figure out what happened. It doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair, and if we were wrong about that, fuck. You think she oh. read it? It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Guilt. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it, then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Maybe Tessa has the answers. Must be nice to forget. Tessa was the lady she was on the phone with. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But we need to go by the store anyway to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Is there something wrong? I just feel, I just got You've a weird feeling about day. her now. Since we got Is to the house. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. That book changed everything. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a she little... She seems to be very yeah. pushy. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. Wasn't ready to come back. Couldn't find the time. Uh, I wasn't ready. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I'm trying to be if if I, I tried if to I go was to your Tyler, fireweed graduation. I wanted to what, bake you a crappy box cake and take feel. awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Stop making it about you. I was hiding from everyone. Look. I didn't want to see anyone. Ooh, that symbol again. I just started testosterone. And, oh, God. I had the worst acne. My emotions were all Assuming over the that's place. And the smells... Changes the story Allison, a little bit, the maybe? smells... Men smell bad. I know. 
I've dated hey, a few. I'll take offense to that. I needed some time to figure my shit Might out be true, before <laughs> I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Why rush the house sale? We have a plan? So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. If that's really what you need. All right. Deal. Sounds good. Let's figure out the story, because now... Tired. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, Ollie? no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. That's I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Me and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one mom is screaming at now. Mom seemed jealous we didn't tell her that we were planning to do what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? <laughs> Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But mom found out we watched it and got mad. She said it was gloried war. Saturday 5th. Saturday, February 5th. So that happened in March. So it was like a month before the incident. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to do? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. That's, that's, that's terrible. That's so sad. Allison told me again that it was my fault. Mommy, mom got angry with the, at us. She is such a suck up. Mom is barely said anything to us in a few days. Allie said she saw her throwing away papers from the Book of Goblins. 3-1. So this is March. So this is the month. Do this. Do that. I am sick of her voice. And I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie the Goblin. like to end up somewhere like this just not here somewhere with more trees than people exactly just go into it with a little more of a plan than marianne did could be a ranger already working on it with my degree it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger after you spend a little time in juno uh still a maybe on that one if you squint you can almost forget Talos Crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. Are you ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day we'll be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. Go ahead. I'll catch up. I need to respond to a message. Uh-huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Hmm. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. Seems people. we got a trespasser. Oh. What the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Someone was living there. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam. Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Well, your brother? Oh, no. Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn. 
You look like a real man. <sighs> so do you, Sam. Look, you know what I mean. Annoying to have I to just hear. Didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. I'm just me. I. You know what? I am a man. Screw you. <sighs> Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just like you. Oh, shit. Guess I'm the asshole again. <laughs> you gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. Oh, come on. You kids keep changing the rules. You can't expect us to keep up. Just respect the people are who they say they are. It's not hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't going anywhere. Hmm. Who is this guy? So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Some more was Oh, there. yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big not, deal. Not as creepy as I thought it was going to be. Your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary in with she repairs and building kill projects? Us. Try to kill oh, her kids. Yeah. Yeah. Seeing as your mom never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place. That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. No one asked you a few bad memories, too. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? Oof. What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Yeah. That's a little bit of positive spin this on it. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Were you too close? The puzzle on our door? How well did you know her? <sighs> Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Let me. He's hammered? Allie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh, all right. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? Why does she need pri- why would she need privacy? solve it? Why would she need- Yep. That much privacy? Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I, I wanted to. I, I, uh, 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 so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? So he huh. couldn't get in the door. She may have one or two left. Okay, it's already answered those, so we should go. We should get going. 
That's all you think we'll get out of him? That's all I can. These two ways, have, I have more questions. I didn't have any other options. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh. Uh, Sam, get out. Of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I... Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. Take the hit. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? He has, like, a weird Sam? obsession with her. Huh? Unless he's really drunk, I don't know. Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself. Well, uh, Tyler is definitely both straight, straightforward. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. I wonder if we're going to be able to, to control Allison as well, or is it always through Tyler? That picture, man, it just kind of, I don't know. All right, so he didn't really, Sam didn't really tell us much about Mary Ann besides, for some reason, she really needed privacy. Um, like to the extent of putting a puzzle lock on her door that her kids can't get into. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh, okay, so we control Allison now. So I think this is going to be a good time for us to call it for um, episode number one. So I'm a little confused. Um... Well, I, I shouldn't say confused. It's more of, um, I have a lot of thoughts going on, um, whether about their mom, you're getting kind of conflicting information. Obviously at the beginning, they kind of made her feel, made her seem like she was almost evil. And then you learn a little bit more about her house. Mm. Like was she just, did she deal with mental illness? Um, I'm not sure what those pills were. Um, but it seemed like she had really bad mood swings and that she needed to really be private and stay away from wants to, you know, she kind of painted her kids while playing. She didn't even go out and play with them. So it seems really distant and especially his journal. Seeing when it got closer and closer to that date of what had happened, she started having some kind of breaks. But I don't want to, um, I don't want to look. I don't know if I should be looking that deep into it. Like if, if I should think of that it is mental illness, I'm not really sure yet. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm obviously we're going to find out. So what do you guys think? Um, what do you guys think of the, the game so far? What do you guys think of this? Let's play. Um, let me know. Um, the next episode should come out in a few days. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Thank you very much for hanging out and have a great day. Bye-bye.